And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Vladimir Rally. Just played this deck a couple of days ago, but I really enjoyed it. Um, and so I want to try it again. It's like the Vladimir Spiders that we played, but instead of using Shadow Isles for all the spider stuff, we are uh, instead using Demacia because we can put Lucian and Senna together. Very aggressive cards um, and, you know, use those with Relentless Pursuit to be able to get extra attack steps. Um, so, you know, we're trying to be an aggressive uh, deck with Vladimir, having Vladimir's trigger help deal extra damage to the enemy's nexus. And uh, that's, that's kind of what it's all about. You know, so we have Transfusion Brothers Bond for our, our um, tricks. We have, um, you know, good one drops with, with uh, Rear Guard, Saboteur, Battlecaster. Uh, it helps pump up our creatures as well. And yeah, so we're just basically um, being super low to the ground, aggressive, you know, crowd favorite can, can be a big creature as well and try to get extra attack steps with the Relentless Pursuit or with uh, Lucian uh, transforming. Because, you know, if we have a bunch of cheap creatures, they die, Lucian flips, and Lucian flipped is pretty great. So, so let's give this a try. Vladimir Rally. All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go play five matches in ranked, and we'll see how we do. All right, we're playing against Ezreal and their million Mystic shots. Oh, got a good hand. I could see Ditch and the Crimson Disciple, but I like I like what we got. Let's keep it. We got a one drop, which is important. And then we got some twos. Explosives primed. No, they have thermogenic beam. Ouch. That's a, a great tempo play for them. Ouch. It's going to be difficult to win now. If I just play Lucian, they have Mystic Shot. That's kind of unfortunate. And Tensor 2017. Getting the sub. Welcome to the channel. So they're at three mana. Let me show you what I can do. Don't think we're gonna get too punished by playing this first and not going straight to attacks. I love a taste of the action. Alright, get this one away from our sub goal for the day. Thanks to the gifted sub there, Kitty Dexterity. Yeah, we played a spooky Karma Mirror where, where we went to, to turns, we went to like turn 40 or something, because neither of us, neither of us could win the game. Neither of us could deck, neither of us could kill the opponent. Basically, Karma gave infinite cards. Come on. Too many cows. Yeah, they have. 
have this one. Look what you no. These cows do a great job playing defense. Draw a card. Turn the tide of war. I got ways to find me mushrooms. You can see the Devastian border from here. Ooh. Oh, I the thing was gonna die anyway. There's one less damage that I'm dealing though to them. Don't think there's really any certain order that I need to put these things in. Vladimir's at two out of six, so this should do one damage to all these things. They all survive it. That's four things Vladimir should transform. Hey, Metamorph. Yeah. Switch the Twitch name just to have a, a nice generic name I can use with all the games. Cold isn't the only danger. But I'm doing good. How are you doing? Stack shock was pretty good. This will take the chill off. All right, transfusion's not bad. Could help. Help have a creature survive through a burn spell. The people are my strength. Hmm. Maybe we should just go straight to combat. Winter take yeah, that's what I was thinking. I should just gone straight to combat. My gun does the talking. One suffers, another cries. <laughs> Darn. I tried. I just got too much good Elnuk value early on. I'm trying here.
If I don't block, I go down to three, so I die to I get excited. This block means that I I have both creatures I can um, deal one damage to and still st they'll still stay alive. I can kind of go either way with that. I tried. They just—they had just an awesome, awesome hand. They just had it all. You know, ever since like those Elnux were great, but then they just had—you know—just never stopped. And a really good, good hand. That's that Ezreal deck is, is can be really good against uh, creature aggro with the, all those big bodies. Because even after the Elnux, they kept on having those four fours and everything. Of course, the all the frostbites. They got me. Working. There we go. So I think I want to put back the Relentless Pursuit. No, I don't actually. I'm gonna keep it. The thing is, if we if they do have like a really good um, aggressive hand with like a, a bunch of like cheap stuff, and they get ahead, the Relentless Pursuit doesn't do anything when you're behind. But with that being said, like Senna, you know Senna does have the quick attack, so can can kind of offset that a little bit. Um, where, you know, it could just be, like, another attack with Senna, at the very worst. There's nothing to fear. You're covered! We can use the bite. I'll stop you! Timing is everything. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Like how Senna can even attack through Skitter. It's basically impossible to play a three drop that attacks through Skitter, but Senna is like the only one. Senna can do it. Missed a chance to run. I guess they have Mark of the Isles. Alright, so we just get a two for one. Get rid of Skitter and Mark. With one card. Now this is where we need to draw another creature this turn. <laughs> I should have been more specific. A creature that we could play for four mana or less. Ugh, I should have been more specific. The best news though is you know, we can play like Scythria and then and have Pursuit available. Who would that?
One suffers, another. Good hand, all these skitters. They're, they're... Yeah, good hand. This is what I was talking about, that, that Rally can, you know, like this Relentless Pursuit can just be a dead card in these aggro matchups. I regret having it. Because it's, it's just not doing anything. Not really any point of it. That's what I was talking about before, whenever I decided mulliganing. Now you've gone and it definitely it hurt that they had they had the Mark of the Isles to kill the Senna. Um, so I didn't even get to attack with it. That works. Today we turn the tide of war. That works. You won't suffer long. Come meet my blade. Faith brings us together. Hey, Bio Peligroso. Welcome, thanks for joining. Injustice. Hope you're having a good day. Let me show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy, dear. People are. So this is going to kill my 4-1, my crowd favorite, but the crowd favorite dying is good for my Vanguard Redeemer. Okay. Ooh, I can play this also. All right, well, looks like the rally is going to finish it off, but you know, basically after we already stabilized. Yeah, that was the turn right there. All right, one on one. Jeez.
GG's. Okay, let's see. Back to Ezreal. We have our one drop. House Spider on two. Probably Redeemer on three. I'm going to shuffle back the Protector. Oh, hey, no problem. Yeah, yep, there's the YouTube link. YouTube.com slash Hawktai. We can watch all the replays for all the decks. Um, music free also if you're somebody who's not as big of a fan of the music or want to play your own music. Able to do that. Nothing escapes my watch. Look out for reavers. Alert the villains. This was our loss a little bit ago. We'll see if we can. Uh, turn that around this time. Shh. There it is. Gotcha. Today we turn the tide of war. Today we turn the tide of war. Trump lump so good. I was planning on playing the protector. I don't know. I don't know about this play. I don't know about that play. Better not have a big troop. Please whiff on troop. troop. No troop of Elnux at all. Let me show you what I can do. No one's the wiser. They got a bull. If I play Senna, then they could have, you know, Troop of Elnux that makes some more. They could just play even another Bull Elnux, play like the 3-1 the Frostbite. Probably supposed to just go to attacks. And then draw second main with the Redeemer. I, I did play, you know, I could have played the Senna the last turn, but I decided playing the Saboteur and the Bright Steel Protector. Playing the one drop and two drop was better overall than just having a Senna in play, and I'm glad I did that, because if I would have played Senna, they would have just blocked the 4 5. Their deck's so good against small creatures. Our ancestors are watching. 
feels like our worst matchup, right? Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Sure feels like it. Fight on. Their entire deck's built to kill or block small creatures. If they have no no instance whatsoever, we have this is lethal. Chances of that are so small. Yep. Have it all. How are we getting these last six points of damage across? <clears throat> Doesn't look like we're getting the last six damage across. These old eyes still see far. But you never know, maybe. It's not bragging if you could back it up. Can't stop me. Probably should have just like I don't know. Maybe I should have played like cre other creatures pre-combat in some of those other times, because they had just like the instance to tear us down anyway. Take you. That was the problem of, of not of playing the creatures pre-combat though. That's the problem. This ice fail archer. I don't know. I just got it all. It's gotta be our worst matchup. So hopefully we can dodge that for a little bit, play some play against some other decks. For a little bit. Alright, something else. <clears throat> so, Aggro Mirror, 
We'll see, you know, who's faster. We're going to get rid of five drop, six drop in aggro mirror. We'll keep one and two. I don't like the rally in this kind of matchup. Yeah, not for now, Mavo. Playing, yeah, this Legends of Runeterra game that I really like, that I think is, is better than Magic and, and recommend it over Magic. Yeah, we just played against another Karma deck where neither of us could win, but when you have a Karma in play, you know, like when you have a champion in play, you can cast the other version of the champion, so you shuffle more in, and, and uh, so neither of us could deck. And with reporting in, <clears throat> okay. basically neither of us could deck. We both had infinite cards um, because the karma card get, just gives you more random cards. So we could just, no one could deck. We both had infinite cards, and neither of us had cards that could win the game. And so put it together, and we just got it. Got a draw after um, after 40 turns. It just gives you a tie. We found that one out. Explosives pride. No one's the wiser. I've got your back. Oh, it is a great day for Regan. And they're just going to take it. Making the dead deader. I'll do better this time. They got a block with Jinx. Never mind. <clears throat> Probably should have played. I should have just played Vladimir first. Where's my axe? Oh, I can't wait. All right, plus surrendered. Other two cards in hand must have been more expensive cards they couldn't play. And we're back to 500. Undefeated against non Ezreal. <laughs> yeah, game really. Yeah, we played a 40 turn game. Played a game, a mirror match where no, neither player could win. Really want a one drop. Ugh, 
all twos. Basically, because we have the attack token turn one, so really wanted a one drop. So I, I mulliganed more aggressively there looking for a one drop. But it didn't work. There's a chill in the air. Yeah, neither of us, neither neither player could deck. We we had infinite cards in hand and infinite cards in library. And Oh, come on. I forgot about that thing. Bleh. So the better creature to to kill, it's like basically they they have all the you know they got to save up mana because they didn't play anything turn one or two, so they they're gonna be able to freeze one of these, and kill it. So the better the creature that they want to kill is the Lucian. So I'm gonna put the Lucian here because if they block Lucian and freeze and kill Lucian, then the Senna flips. Why are you crying? You just got a free kill on my Lucian. But with Senna flipping, double, double attack. These old eyes still see far and clear. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, they took a lot of damage there, but we're probably dead. I mean, they're, they're just going to kill everything with this challenger. So I don't really know how I'm going to win. I'll try anyone. Because if you just have a Rhyme Fang Challenger and all Frostbite spells, it's I, I can't get through it. Oh, okay, they just traded. All right, that's not bad. Reporting in. They have one card that just took out three of my cards and still keeps a body alive. Troop of Elnux. It's pretty gross. That's all right. Your opponent had three Wilderness Reclamations out and was about to hit me with a massive explosion, kept spamming good game emotes, and then started tapping 35-plus lands to show off the overkill, roped out, skipped the turn, died the next turn on the crackback. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's a pretty silly game right there. <laughs> There is light. 
life, there is hope. Maybe they just didn't have like. I think I think honestly, what I think happened there is the opponent didn't have explosion, and they kept on doing that, hoping that you would concede. I honestly bet that's what it was. Honestly, bet they just sat there and and hope hoped that that you would concede if they sat there long enough. If I fall, so big. Go ahead, scare me. Act with conviction. The probability this works is really small. No, the vault you vault only opens once a week, um, which is going to be it's going to be in a few hours. But um, the vault only opens on Tuesdays, once a week, and so you try to level up your vault as much as you can before before Tuesday to get as much as good of rewards as possible. Like the more the more you play, the more you level up the vaults. Yep. <clears throat> and ideally you want to get to level level 10 because if you get to level 10 then you get a free expedition token and yeah the, the max level is 13. Uh, just for a little bit, uh, Rude Vigar, at least. I'll lead us to victory. Playing Legends of Runeterra instead. I think this is a, bet a better game, and so I wrote about how uh, Rex just linked that. Yeah, these Elnux, just every time we play against Elnux, like that's, it's too hard to beat these Elnux. Like their Elnux, you know, took out so many cards of mine. You know, because it just play five mana, get two, three, threes, and a four, five. I can't, I can't beat that. Yuck. That did not get better. Yeah, all, all three of our losses are and point them right to the Elnux. Wow. I got you. If I had to pick out like the four worst cards to to draw in the deck after we put the mulligan, transfusion, transfusion, relentless pursuit, house spider. 
would be about as bad as it could be. It's like the bottom two or three percent that we could get. If I do one to the two two, the two two is gonna die after the Omen Hawk blocks it. The problem is if they have Jeweled Protector for me playing this first. These are dangerous lads. Well, that's not really ideal either. I should have put Battlecaster first. Well, this works out. That was a really good block for me. That three, that three life that they gained. We were so close. The three life they gained with the Kinku Wayfinder. Or whatever, Kinku Life Blade. And just died at, at one. At least we didn't lose to Elmux that time. We had a pretty terrible mulligan. Uh, and, you know, just barely, barely lost. Um, I could have sent back, I mean, I, I guess I could have sent back the other four mana overwhelm creature, the other crowd favorite. That was about, that was the thing I could have done there. Yeah, I changed the stream name. Okay. 
This is better. We actually get one drops. Yeah, I just play everything on ranked. Where's my axe? I'll do better this time. Um, not for the time being, Rough Snake. I think start playing Legends of Runeterra instead because this is a better game. I pull the string. Hmm. I, I would kind of rather play the two one drops, but I think that I need to play this to be able to block this other spider. I think that's a block I want to make. Now the real thing is going straight to combat or not. The reason why going, the reason why going straight to combat would be bad. Or sorry, the reason yeah, the reason why playing a creature would be bad is if they have skitter. It's like yeah, if I like play a creature and then they have skitter, that's bad. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight to attacks. What's your hurry? Well, like this is yeah, this new game Legends of Runeterra. If I wrote about why I like it more than Magic. There, if you, you know, why I think it's a better game and everything. And so, if you're, you, won't get past me. you know, if you're a fan of Magic, I mean, I, I recommend checking this game out. So we traded three for two with the pump spell, the two creatures for their Elise. All right, plan is 7-7 uh, seven, seven crowd favorites and attack. Let's see what happens. So they're taking one damage from this thing, so they're down to 10. Nine, eight, five. So this is just five. So I don't have lethal with this trick. The only thing I can use this trick for is to kill their four three, but their four three is already going to be at one toughness. I'm going to wait on that. Because one toughness when I have these spiders and everything. I 
Vladimir. I've dressed for the occasion. All we have to do is attack and we win, but not anymore. Okay. So. There, there. All right, Vladimir finishes this out. Unless they have, they're gonna have to have like, I guess they have to have removal spells from our creatures. But just the, the Vladimir triggers, it kills everything, but you know, they they take four damage, they take one damage from that thing. So like they take five damage before, before blockers even happen. Okay. There you go. Vladimir helping out. Yeah, um, let's see. All right, let's just, let's just retry. <clears throat> That's not the best. We got a one drop at least. There, there's a two. All right, now it's better. Um, yeah, definitely tried out Ezreal decks. Um, I think that Ezreal is, is really good. Um, the Ezreal El Nuck deck. Uh, you can check it out on YouTube. We played it yesterday. In even we played some Ezra El Nux. Um, yeah, so, yeah. We'll see what we get out of the vault tomorrow. Usually with the vaults, you get a, a whole bunch of commons and shards. Uh, you know, tomorrow we're gonna start playing some expeditions again because the expeditions will reset. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are our expedition days where we play. We play one expedition and then uh, two ranked decks after that on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and start getting a bunch more champions, and working towards, um, I am the blade in the darkness. you know, we'll, we'll be working towards, like, a Nivea, I think, like, a Nivea deck snack next. Zed's gonna be hard to raise. Explosives pride. They'll never see me coming. Remember the fallen. They're keeping a lot of mana up for tricks. Burn away the shadows. Honor guide me. I have a lot of mana for tricks too. I'm 
Let's kind of see what happens. I am a true master. I guess I should have just done this on the unblock creature, shouldn't I? If I would have just done this on the unblock creatures. Could have just maybe gone for lethal. Will of Ionia obviously would have blown us out. If I would have gone for the unblocked creatures, but that would have been about it, right? Probably should have just gone... Pumped those two. Because I think I would have had exact lethal if I would have used all three pump spells on the two unblocked. Yeah, because... I wasted six on the, the two that were blocked. Pledge yourself to the shadows. It's gonna be a really close game. for the occasion. So hopefully this is lethal. I don't want to give them time to play a Kinku Life Blade if I play like a spider or anything. Um, the like we got five damage. Okay, cool. Let's say we got five damage and triggers. The four one's gonna die, but we but Vladimir does four damage and that attacker dealt an extra one, so we're putting him down to one. And we had four attackers. They had three blockers. Oh, where'd he go? Vladimir Rally. I'm gonna play two more. Hopefully, get at least one of the next two. Get 500 record. If we get them both, finish above 500. If we get them both, we'll be exactly 500 on the day. But we want to dodge the Elnux. We're four and one against non Elnux. Hmm. I 
I wonder how playing against Avalanche is going to do. How are we going to do V Avalanche? Lucian. There's a chill in the air. Yeah, what, the air. Uh, if Lucian has double attack and their thing gets recalled, it's still blocked. It has to have overwhelm for the damage to trample over. My arrow won't miss. And Ice Veil Archer is so good. really good. Still giving the barrier to Lucian so that they have either a freeze effect if they were planning on block plus freeze. Doesn't kill it or, you know, avalanche. Doesn't kill Lucian. And now Lucian will transform. Turn to a 4-3. I'd never keep my guests waiting. Hmm. So basically playing this spider out first because Vladimir Vladimir trigger will deal one damage to all of these. They will die. Uh, so say they would die and then we get the attack trigger again, but or we'd get the attack token again, but now we can't. Hmm. That hurts because now we already had we already had the attack token and now we just basically got it again, but you can only have it once. You can't have like two of them stacked up. Our ancestors are watching. So that hurt. Yeah, man, that was a good turn for them. Yeah, there's there's like a legendary rule. Yeah, you you can have two Elise in play if if you have a different way to play it. But once you have, like, see how like this Lucian was, um, 
a relentless pursuit whenever you have one in hand Whenever you have, or sorry, whenever you have one champion in play and you draw another one, then it turns into a spell. So then you get to play it as a spell, so it doesn't get stuck into your hand. So yeah, they turn into their signature spells. Hmm. This didn't go too well. Try anyone. There's a chill in the air. Yeah, yeah, two in starting hand, you played the first and then yeah, then the next one changed. So yeah, so it doesn't just get stuck in your hand. So that's really cool. In the field, you call me commander. <laughs> Struggled with these Freljord decks at every single loss. I mean, this time, at least our opponent didn't play Elnux to, to beat us. They played Ruination, but I think that's what that's what we're struggling against are these Freljord decks with, you know, the 3-1 um, that Frostbreath something and the Frostbite something and just all these Frostbite cards and all that kind of stuff. That's what, that's what we're struggling against. Every single loss was against Freljord. Okay, so Aggro Mirror. A Spider Mirror. I feel like Transfusion actually is pretty good. I'm gonna try keeping this. With the worst thing, of course, being that we don't have a one mana card. Well, they got one mana cards.
So that is just a two for two trade because those two creatures came in the same card. So we just traded two cards for two cards. Oh wait, that thing didn't even die. So we didn't even trade two for two. And first creature died for Lucian. Stand and fight. I know they can use a spell. It's alright. To kill our Lucian, I think that staying alive is a bigger priority than keeping Lucian alive. Where's my axe? So Lucian, playing Lucian and attacking here does mean they can use their 2-1 to trade with my 3-3, and that's not great. But we do have a Lucian in play, and that's pretty great. Taking a lot, going down to seven. Ooh. I'll handle this myself. Back the darkness. Strength above all. This one's mine. Strength. Da bears. Bring back that Twitch Prime sub. Eleven awesome months. Thank you so much. Duh, bears. Gets our sub goal. Time's made me wise. Mark that down towards the next 12 hour stream. Go do that right now. We're at 11 sub goals out of 20 for the next 12 hour stream. All right, so Vladimir will regenerate. Ooh, double battle caster or battle caster Senna. It's probably better to do double battle caster. Was that a slow spell? Like, if I would have just gone to combat, it's probably just a slow spell that if I would have just gone to combat, I would have been fine. And I just... No, it's a fast spell. Never mind. Yeah, so they, they would have done it during combat. I would have been dead. Well, darn. Um, so there we go. Another four and six Vladimir record. 
you know, coming on heels of, again, both last times we played them did really well. I don't know. Do like Vladimir a lot, but just couldn't quite finish out some of those games. It did seem like we had, you know, like if you look at our curve and just a lot of our hands, it did seem like we had too many two mana cards. Um, so probably taking out some two drops and and replacing them with other things, like maybe even other fours, five, some six, you know, even just some other things that are a little bit more powerful could be helpful. Um, like the Bright Steel Protector, for example, was always just kind of um, underwhelming. Kind of the same same thing with the Vladimir Spiders. You know, I think that uh, we need to trim back on the, the two mana creatures just a tad and get a couple of more spells that can uh, break open games. Uh, I could see this deck playing, like, some Prismatic Barriers, honestly. I mean, Prismatic Barriers is just kind of always great, but it is better when you have more expensive things that you're trying to keep alive. Besides that, two other cards I could see maybe playing in here instead of like these uh, Bright Steel Protectors. I could see playing a couple of Blade Keepers, Grand and Ally plus two plus two. That could be really nice. And it's, you know, being a two, three body means it survives the Vladimir trigger. Um, this and Vanguard Sergeant. Vanguard Sergeant, uh, you know, drawing a four, Dem four Demacia, four Demacia with the deck that we're playing can be awesome. And so I, I think I need to take out the Bright Seal Protectors and, and play some, you know, some combination of these. And yeah, I think I think these are these are the two cards that I'm looking looking towards towards replacing. Um, maybe if I just take out, maybe just put in one of each for for just immediately. But that's what I think of it. It does kind of turn the deck a tad bit more mid-range, but not really. Like it, you know, I think it just gives it that little bit of extra power that it needs. So I think that's the change that I'd look forward towards making for the next time. Um, uh, so there we go. So there's Vladimir Rally. Uh, still, you know, tune in our Vladimir deck. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of those changes. Let me know if you think that putting in Vanguard Sergeant, Laurent Bladekeeper, you think those would be uh, good things to add, or if you have other ideas uh, besides those, you know, feel free to uh, let me know also. Um, but uh, yeah, so Bannerman's an elite also. I need to make an elite deck pretty soon with Bannermans once we get more, once I get, you know, more wild cards and everything. Bannermans pretty sweet. I kind of feel like all these, like all these Allegiance cards have been really impressive. Maybe go like Vladimir Elites and go more Demacia and Bannermans and stuff. Ooh, I could see that. Vladimir Elites. That'd be sweet. All right. Anyway, uh, that's it here for Vladimir Rally. And I'll see you for the next video. Thank you so much for watching.